Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, just kind of a quick little rant, I guess. I guess you could call it that. Kind of a mix of a rant and a discussion. So, as I'm booting up OBS to do uh, the second video for the day, because I generally have a pattern of recording those first, but uploading these ones first. That way I know what to say if I have anything saved or thought up during the later video. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I was going through that, and for some weird reason, while I'm trying to set it up, trying to prepare different things, for some strange reason, my computer's like flickering, it's going off and on. It's working fine. I look into it, and it works just fine. So it's not that. It's It was a temporary thing. It was like, why? I tried to figure it out. I think it might be a... I don't know. It might be an area thing. I'm not sure, but... This isn't the first time this kind of thing has happened, and the last time it did, it wasn't particularly on my laptop that I use for this kind of thing. The odd aspect of it is more that the last time it happened, it was on, a, like, a browser, though. Not just on the mainline computer. It was on a browser, and the browser was doing it because there were too many tabs. But that hasn't happened for me since, like, 2018. And I run the same number of tabs, it runs smoothly, I've checked multiple times to make sure it works properly. Nothing bad. I honestly have no idea why. It's really weird. But anyway, all that compilation, what was kind of going on was that I opened OBS and flickering. And I check out, I, so I'm like, eh, maybe it's OBS being OBS. I d do the normal things I usually do to make sure, and it's still doing it. So I'm like, but it's not just OBS doing it. It's the entire computer screen. So maybe, I, I, I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe it was the computer itself. So I check the memory, I check the REM, I, the RAM. I, che I check every aspect of it, and all that's fine. There's plenty of space. There's plenty to work with. Nothing is malfunctioning. So I'm like, okay, weird. I open Adobe, which I have on my laptop for editor for our editor to take care of some s stuff when it's time for that. That way it kind of just all cores on one computer. I do email it to them just in case because they have their own version of it, but yeah. I, 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 I don't know. The editor more has like Movie Maker though, like the really old thing. That's why I usually, I, I'll email for like a double copy, I guess I should say, but because generally uh, this laptop that I'm using is the one that's usually used for edits, but the emails to duplicate just in case something happens. A little bit of confusion on that first time I explained it, but the second time was more thorough. That being said, I digress again. Um, I check Adobe and it's flickering in the same way with slight differences. So I'm like, is it Adobe? Is it Premium Pro? So I check out um, Creative Cloud, because there are a couple of different things that I'm able to do outside of Premium Pro for what I have. So I check out um, Adobe Cloud, uh, uh, Creative Cloud, I open one of the other files, and lo and behold, it acts the same way. So I'm like, it's something to do with Premium Pro. So I go back to Premium Pro and I start trying to tinker with some stuff. Eventually I figure out that it's a save state. Like the save, uh, the auto save files that it creates and I delete all of them, suddenly it just stops. It just stops doing it. I'm like... Adobe is such a good program, why is this its one flaw? It's weird. So I... I find it kind of humorous. It's not frustrating in any kind of way, but it, I find it humorous that a, Adobe Premium Pro specifically causes these weird flickering glitches on a computer at times when used because of its autosave feature. It's like autosave wasn't meant to be created for it, but at the same time they wanted to give it a go. 
the, the feature itself actually works really well from what I understand but outside of that that's a, it, it's strange very much so and even I went in to do the editing that I would do every now and then and even then I'm like I, when the first when I first saw Adobe doing it I thought it was Adobe just being Adobe like it was the software not not a feature in the software the entire software figured things out and it feel, felt like it was but now I'm starting to second guess that because it was the same concept just impacting the entire computer screen rather than just Adobe itself so I do wonder hmm, this is probably something I'm gonna end up talking with our with Aaron about our friend Aaron to see if he can answer the question at all but since he is a programmer and I'm sure he'll know a lot about this but I'll, next time I edit which I made an agreement with our official editor that every now and then I'll do it just to cut some slack for them so whether it's me editing or not it will depend I'm trying to work closer to being closer to equivalent to make the edits seem similar enough but we'll see it might take me a while to get there we'll see with that being said well, there you go um don't know how it's going to turn out but we'll figure it out soon enough kind of it was an interesting story so i kind of just wanted to share it adobe if, if you use adobe premium pro in your learning if you see it flicker don't freak out just delete some autosave files that you don't need and you should be fine with that being said, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in to the video, guys. If you want to check out any other of our discussion and rants, we're almost at 300 of these videos, <laughs> the discussion rants specifically ones at this point, click the link on the side of my head here, and you'll be able to find... I think this is number 294. Either that or it's 293. Or 5. It's one of those three. I can officially at least say that. Um, check out that playlist and you'll find plenty of them. Some of them are outdated, some not so much. It depends on the topic you're watching. Uh, if, if you'd rather try to find something else on the channel that might float your boat a bit more, click the link on this side, and maybe you'll find something there. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video. I was picking something up. Don't, no, don't mind me. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and we hope to catch all of you in another one. See you guys later.